All right, this is Tuesday part two. Talk about PGV after that wonderful news about CP over the weekend or overnight. I uh, definitely didn't want to wake up to this. Okay, so PGV, I'm looking at the announcements for PGV and it says... Uh, Pocket Aces says, okay, so we have 30 hours remaining before all refunds are completed fully. Please be checking your wallets between this time. And then Creator comes out, looks like an hour and a half later, with a video. So I'll tack that on the end of this one. And he just says, good news, all refunds being sent at one time. Feel free to share this video with your community. And then below that, uh, JFRO comes out, and this is the bummer because this is what you're seeing right now. Uh, he says, all our domains are offline due to maintenance and updates. Please be patient. Once they come up, you will be notified. So that's always scary. <laughs> all right, so to USDC the 19th. So I read that one yesterday. And there is another Gembot announcement. He says, okay, at today at uh, 7.30 a.m., he says, okay, we will be sending out an email by end of today to gain access to Gembot AI. We are making sure we have automated the white glove service for all users. Okay, so by end of today. All right, so that's all the announcements. Um, I hope they do the maintenance quickly and I don't know why they didn't do it overnight but if you've been following me you know what that's from but um, those will be updated within 24 hours and supposed to be sent out so we should probably see two days worth of commissions and um, interest payments and things like that coming into that in the next day let me check on different wallets. Okay, no refunds yet, but by the end of tonight, he's basically saying on the video that he can do one, one payment for refunds per contract. He says it a dozen times, but that's basically the the crux of it is that he can do all the refunds on BSC on one transaction but he does still have to put them in manually so he's gonna have to put all the the wallet addresses manually and then the amounts and then once he gets them all in there I'm sure it'll probably save him some some fees and stuff like that so he'll be able to do it all at once for each contract Okay, so we'll know by tomorrow morning if we got stuff in our wallets for refunds. This is the last day, yep, 21st. Okay, so just wanted to update you with PGV real quick um, so that you're not checking your wallets until tonight <laughs> all day long. Um, and we'll definitely update you tomorrow on both PGV and CP just to make sure everything's coming in as usual there but yeah and as you probably already noticed um, I had to take down like two-thirds of my videos last night because uh, showing like the back office and stuff like that of uh, CP looks like we're going private on those all right talk to you later Okay, I just wanted to go ahead and give everyone a good, good update we have on refunds. I'm really excited to share with everyone this update. Um, I just got a message from the tech team that I was basically hiring to create uh, three separate contracts uh, for the refunds, which was one, obviously, you know, we're refunding from the BSC USDT, Polygon, and the Tron contract. So what I was trying to do initially, and this was talked about prior um, is have three contracts created that would allow us to be able to send out all the refunds at one time um, and 
one transaction, pretty much get it done. That's what we've been trying to do for the longest. Um, and I finally got a uh, message today from that tech team uh, saying that uh, it was a success as far as creating those contracts. So um, it has been tested and uh, it is pretty much ready to go. Now, what we have to do here is we have to input every single wallet address, okay, into uh, wall address and the amount into that that contract. OK, so basically we have to input that. Um, we have to add all of the all of the wallet addresses and the amounts. OK, uh, for the remaining refunds into there. And then from there, obviously, add the funds into that con those contracts and then send out those refunds. Now, what that means is that means that basically we're going to be able to send out all the refunds in one bat in in one batch per contract. So if you were on the BSC USDT contract and you have not received a refund yet, all right, basically um, your your wallet address is going in that in that contract along with the amount um, and everybody's is going in there all at once. And then that will be one transaction. So one transaction is going to cover refunds for again, for for the remaining of the BSC USDT. Same thing for. Uh, the Polygon contract refunds, and then also for the uh, the Tron refund. So Tron contract refund. So basically, what we're saying here is that we have uh, we're going to be able to do this in three transactions. All right. Now, same timing. It's going to be done by as as we stated by the end of March twenty first. Okay. Um, and this is AST time. All right. So understand that you know a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's already this day or it's already this time. It's not on your time zone. Everybody is in a different time zone. All right. This is based off AST time. So by the end of March 21st, AST time, we will be sending out. Basically, there's there's three batches, right? Three transactions. One is for the remaining of the BSC USDT refunds. One is for the Polygon. And then one is for the Tron. That's three transactions getting sent out. And that means that um, all of them, you know, basically each the each one of those transactions will refund everybody from all three of the contracts that, you know, for those of you who have not yet been refunded yet. OK, so really good news. This is going to make things really simple for us. Now, the only thing we have to do and uh, this is what we're going to be working on now is we have to input all of those, uh, all of the wallet addresses for those that have not been refunded from the BSC, USDT, Polygon and Tron contract, we have to input those wallet addresses into the contract um, and then also input the amounts, okay, um, that you're getting refund, input them, manually input them. It is going to allow us again to send out everything in one transaction, right, instead of having to do one by one by one by one by one, it allows to do everything in one transaction. And uh, the only thing is we have to input those in manually. So that's what we're going to be working on now. We're going to be taking all the wall, uh, all the wallet addresses uh, for those that have not been refunded yet, adding them to to that um, to those contracts. And then from there, we'll be sending them out again. It's going to be three total transactions, one for the BSC USDT refunds or the remaining of them, one for the uh, remaining of the Polygon refunds, contract refunds, and then one for the remaining of the Tron contract refunds. OK, so that's. Pretty much the process of what we're doing. Again, um, right now, what we're going to start doing is adding all the the wallet addresses in there. That's going to take us a little bit of time, obviously. But again, um, everybody will have their refund by the end of March 21st. Okay, which is basically tomorrow. Tomorrow's March 21st. For those of you that don't know, um, currently, if you're looking at AST time, it's it is currently March 20th. Okay, um, 7:41 p.m. AST time. All right. So literally in the next, uh, I would say just off the top of my head, uh, we're looking at about uh, what, 24, 20, like 27 hours around, just giving an estimate. OK, but uh, before we hit the end of March 21st. All right. So everybody will have these these transactions. These three transactions are going to go out on the end of March 21st. All right. Um, because, again, we're going to be working on inputting the wall addresses and the amounts in for the remaining refunds. And then again, we're just going to send them out all in one transaction uh, per per contract. So that means, again, just recapping. I know I repeat myself quite a bit, but I just want to make sure everybody understands the for the BSC USDT re uh, remaining refunds, Polygon remaining refunds and then the Tron remaining refunds. So that's that's the process of what we're doing now. Um, and again, I know it's been a crazy process, but we're going to go ahead and get this done finally. 
And uh, so, so be expecting that by the end of March 21st, okay, AST time, um, may, basically what I'm saying is check your wallets, okay? Check your wallets by the end, for those that have not received a refund yet, check your wallets by the end of March 21st, AST time, and you will see that you'll have your refund there. Now, as I stated before, there may be a few people that don't get their refunds, like maybe 20, 30, 50 people. Um, and it could be because maybe they provided the incorrect wallet address. There could be, you know, some type of error that, um, because again, a lot of you that filled out the refund form could have provided the wrong information or some of you, not all of you, but some of you could have provided the wrong information. We had it happen before where people sent the wrong wallet address or they just sent the wrong information. Okay. So obviously, um, after we do that, we send out these three transactions for the uh, bat basically to send them out all in three different batches uh, to finish them out. Um, if you're somebody who did not receive it by the end, if you look in your wallet and you don't see it there by the end of March 21st AST time, then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and in our Discord group, you need to put in uh, here in the Discord group, you need to go ahead and put in a support ticket and say, hey, I didn't get my refund for whatever reason. And we will go ahead and uh, check your response. We'll double check the wallet, make sure you did not receive the refund. And if you didn't, we'll just go ahead and send it out at that specific time. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing. That's the process of what's left. I just wanted to get a quick video, explain what we're doing so everybody understands. That means we're not going to be using the um, the the wallets that I posted for refunds for BSC, USDT, Polygon and then Tron. Those wallets that I posted that we're going to be refunding from, we're not going to be doing that anymore, obviously, because are using those anymore to refund because we're using uh, we're going to be using a a basically a batch refund contract, three different batch refund contracts um, that will allow us to go ahead and send them all out in one shot. So that's what we're doing. That's that's the process. Uh, I'm excited. This is going to save so much time, so much work. Um, so, again, what we're doing right now, just to recap, is adding all the wall addresses, all of the amounts into those. Um, into the contracts. And then from there, once we add all that information in there, we have everything in there, boom, they'll be sent out again. Expect that by the end of March 21st, which again is tomorrow, okay, uh, which is expected within the next, um, from the time right now that I'm currently making this video. Again, you're looking at probably about 27 hours, okay? And then it will be done. That's it, over with, okay? So thank you all for your patience. Um, I just want to say that um, we appreciate all of you that have been patient. Um, we're finally excited to get this all done. Um, and uh, I, I really honestly just just thank God that we we're able to, uh, you know, to, to create that or that I was able to have somebody create um, those type of contracts that would allow us to send out everything at once and, and uh, get it all done in one shot. This is just a, a big um, stress reliever for me. And it, it's, it's gonna, it's 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 a huge stress reliever, guys, for me uh, personally. Um, instead of having to do them one by one and and just transferring funds back and forth, and it's just it's just a big hassle. Anyways, with that being said, um, that's the update I have for everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, check your wallets by the end of March twenty first AST time, and you should see your refund in there, um, your refund amount in there, and everybody will be good to go, and we can go ahead and move on um, from that point on.